uh, sort of second to last, uh, definitely not least, but a really important one that oftentimes people forget, especially in a world today where um, things like TechCrunch and all these other sites are not necessarily driving the same kind of attention and helping you tell your story because it's essentially somebody else writing the story for you instead of you writing it. So many years ago at Kissmetrics, we had a, a pretty large lawsuit that uh, hurt the business quite a bit and we were able to use that opportunity and use the audience we had to just message about it and talk about it and uh, it, it really helped uh, it really helped us frame and show kind of our point of view and our perspective on this really like sort of um, pretty much like harmful business issue that we ran into. Um, another one is uh, it really helps you when you're trying to highlight success and want to show want to want to show what you can do for your customers, um, and so these kind of case studies are great. Uh, your customers are happy because they get a lot of attention. I mean, this got like over 200 tweets a few years ago, so it's pretty good. Um, and then uh, when you've got a new feature, so this one got 400 tweets when we launched A/B testing as a report in uh, in Kissmetrics, and uh, it worked out really well. So I, I would recommend that. If you can figure out how to do content, uh, it has a lot of these benefits that you might not see, not just for getting traffic, but also for sort of your brand and helping frame your story uh, to your audience. Uh, and then this is just the traffic until about 2015, early 2015 from Kissmetrics. There's been a lot of ups and downs, but in general, uh, the traffic's just been consistently going up. And it's through this idea of creating quality content all the time.